Hey there, howdy folks, T-Rev here, revving it up, fired up and excited, blessings to you. Happy Thursday, December 17th, 2020. Fantastic time to be alive, great opportunities ahead, moving from glory to glory. God bless you, be filled with hope and peace in this time. Uh, we just have a lot of opportunities ahead of us to be, to be a blessing, so... I wanted to talk today about discernment, about spiritual discernment. Some folks are confused with the idea that you can get discernment from a book or words on a page like the scriptures. Um, well, God had this person do this, so we're supposed to do that. Or um, The reality is, though, that discernment is a spiritual matter, and I'm, I'm not trying to take away from the scriptures or um, different writings and, and things that, you know, are uh, relating interactions with God and God's people with, his, with uh, God's kids. But I will say that the only way to really have discernment is to have an active, intimate relationship with that living God in order to discern your times and your seasons and your actions and the road ahead of you. God can see all, made all, all things are through God, and therefore uh, has the ability to extend to you insight and wisdom, which would be discernment for a situation and, and direction for a situation. Discernment can become wisdom, which is the step of action. But to discern something, we need that link up. And so if you're not familiar with what I'm talking about, I encourage you to reach out, to call out and say, God, I need this relationship that T. Rev's talking about. I need this intimacy with you. Please show up in my life and show me who you are so that I can really have this interaction. And God is faithful to meet with the seeker and those that are calling out. Reach out, God. Uh, is super excited to uh, move forward in deeper levels of intimacy and relationship with you. And even if you have the experience of knowing that, God wants to bring us deeper and deeper and deeper still. God bless you.